So yeah, we are under the, th the three hour mark now. Um, the crew woke up about four hours ago, performed some medical checks. We saw them walk out of Hangar X, uh, hopped into their Teslas and made their way to the Falcon support building where they donned the space, crew space suits that you see on screen right now. Um, they took another ride to launch pad 39A, went up the elevator, uh, went up a flight of stairs, and now they are making their way through the crew access arm. That is the corridor <laughs> that you see on screen right now. And what a sight to see with them hugging as they're yeah. walking. Oh, they look so excited. So these are essentially the last steps that they will take <laughs> on planet Earth for the next three days. <laughs> Obviously taking a moment to enjoy the view, smell the roses if there were any. <laughs> <laughs> They're just absolutely excited and ecstatic. Yeah, their excitement is radiating. It's making me very excited. Yes, We're getting yes. very close. Again, just under three hours until liftoff <laughs> and some dancing. <laughs> Haley's getting very excited again. Um, she's going to be the youngest American in space and the first with a prosthetic. So what Haley has just entered into now is what we call the white room, and it's an environmentally controlled environment, or excuse me, environmentally controlled room. Um, it keeps out dust, dirt, humidity, bugs, of course, because it's Florida, <laughs> um, and essentially keeps it environmentally stable for the crew. Uh, if you look just above Dr. Proctor's helmet there, you can see a seal, it's a black seal, and uh, it basically seals in the room um, that gets installed and compressed against the capsule to maintain the cleanliness of the spacecraft. And here we can see one of my favorite traditions for SpaceX crewed flights. They are adding their signatures to the wall of the white room. So because this is the first um, orbital all civilian mission, they're signing their names next to the X logo uh, for previous NASA crew missions. Uh, the NASA astronauts have signed their name there next to the NASA meatball to the left. Yes, and all members of the crew will get an opportunity to sign. Uh, and if you are wondering, this is penciled into part of their procedures um, to grab the Sharpie yep. and, and sign the wall. Yep, it's uh, actually written in for the uh, advanced team, which is the group of people that arrive to the pad prior to the crew. And they are the, one, the advanced team prepares the pad and everything in the white room with all the tools necessary uh, for closeout operations and Sharpie is one of the tools listed in, <laughs> in, the, in the procedure for the uh, advanced team to ensure is there uh, prior to the crew's arrival. And one final hug. So in the background, um, around the seal, you can see that is um, Dragon and the side hatch is open. In a few minutes here, we will be seeing the crew enter or ingress the Dragon with the assistance of the closeout technicians. Also affectionately known as the SpaceX ninjas. SpaceX ninjas, <laughs> yes. And there you can see Jared Isaacman and Chris Sombrowski also making their way across the crew arm to the white room to join the rest of their crew. Also getting a moment to take in some of the sights. <laughs> and it's such a nice day over there in Florida. It's, it's a great day. <laughs> yeah, as John mentioned earlier, we, we were only 10% uh, likelihood of violating launch conditions, which is a rarity uh, for Florida, especially this time of year. So, you know, if you've got a blue sky day like they have, you got to stop and enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, 10%, that's not only ascent weather, contingency splashdown, and planned splashdown in three days. So you're really having to get everything to come together. So I hope we can use this day. It looks great. Yeah, that's, that's a great point. Uh, so in selection and ultimately just giving the final go or no go uh, decision point for launch today, the splashdown weather in three days was also a, an important 
factor for consideration um, because, it, you know, that's part of the journey as opposed to missions to the International Space Station where the NASA astronauts are typically on board station for um, a couple of months. We don't have to worry about splashdown weather then because who knows. But at this point, because the astronauts are coming home in three days, we did have to do um, quite a bit of evaluation for those splashdown conditions prior to ultimately uh, proceeding into what we see here today.